In mid-September to mid-October 2014, four of us from the Australian Museum, Mark McGruther and Sally Reader from Fish, Stephen Keeble from Marine Invertebrates and myself from Mollusks, joined scientists from New Zealand on the ship the RV Braveheart for a month-long expedition to the remote Austral and Gambia Island regions of southern French Polynesia. The major goals of the project were to fill gaps in our knowledge of the marine biodiversity of the region and to determine connections to marine populations in the adjacent Western Pacific Ocean. We departed from New Zealand and our first collection site was an unexpected one right in the middle of the Pacific about 1600 miles from the nearest land. We went for a swim in 5,000 metres depth of water and we found floating pumice with marine invertebrates attached. So this became our first collection site. From here we got to our first island destination, Rapa Island. Then we went to Moratiri Rocks, followed by Marani and Mangareva Islands. We were able to sample fishes and invertebrates at 73 sites across these remote islands. This provides baseline information important for management and conservation. Many specimens were collected and documented, including a number of potentially previously unknown species. We also expanded distribution records showing a connection to other areas. Samples for genetic analysis were obtained, providing a further resource for study of biodiversity and population relationships across the Indo-Pacific region. This material is being integrated into Australian Museum collections for future reference. Well, we're finally leaving Taranga. Yay! Not that there's anything wrong with Taranga, but we left Australia on Thursday, stayed the night in Auckland, went to Taranga by car on Friday, spent two nights here over the weekend and Monday. Yay! We're finally leaving. We believe the weather's pretty foul out there. So we're expecting some lumpy waves. We've all just had lunch, so who knows what's going to happen with that. Anyway, we're about to leave the harbour. Very exciting, we're finally underway. We're over 500 nautical miles from Taranga. And we've got uh, another 1,500 nautical miles to go before we reach Rapa. So we've been gone two and a half days, so you work, you do the maths. We've still got a long, long way to go, but we are so, so, so lucky that uh, the weather is great. The seas, as you can see, are flat as a tack. We're powering along at over 10 knots. Great stuff. Wicked!
taking tissue samples. Stephen's putting the coating on from the different museums. Mark's standing around as usual. <laughs> trying to look intelligent. He's doing identifications. A peppered squirrel fish. A peppered squirrel fish. Fish team are labouring into the night. That's a big fish, Mark. This is a dog tooth tuna. Dog tooth tuna because of its impressive teeth. The crew caught this on a woman line today, and we're just keeping the head because if you caught an elephant, you couldn't keep the whole elephant, could you? Well, these fish are a bit like that, really. So we know exactly what it is. We've taken a tissue, or Sally has taken a tissue sample, and we've now got the uh, head that we're about to preserve. And I'm just, although it's a slightly bloody process, I'm just jabbing the, the musculature a little bit with a forcep, with a pair of, um, uh, with a scalpel, to let the formula in. Anyway, it's going to end up with that tag on it in the Australian Museum collection. And that to uh, the records and our knowledge about the area. Fantastic. Thanks, Mark. No oh, problem. Samples from the Southern French Polynesia expedition arrived at the Australian Museum in March 2015. They are in the early stages of curation and documentation, but will soon be available as a reference for study. For more details on how to access the collections of the Australian Museum, see our website.